Smurfy greetings YouTubers, it is I the Hell Gear, and first and foremost I would like to explain myself. Friday during the Viking Hunt event, I had to go out of town to deal with some business. When I got to do all that, I only had time to upload things on a scheduled timer, grab my tablet, grab my switch, and my Inkling Mail Amiibo, and then it was out the door. And I was gone that entire weekend. The Friday that I went out of town was the Friday I was supposed to put up part two of the Viking Hunt. Things are better now, but as you can plainly see, Viking Smurf is in the party. Again, I apologize for not being able to record all this stuff with you. Trust me, if I didn't have to go out of town and handle some of that business, would have done it. But in any case, welcome back to Smurf's Epic Run. We're going to take Viking Smurf along and we're going to do what I consider the Viking Hunt Victory Lap. And what better way of doing it than by using Viking Smurf himself. So, I know this won't make up for me not showing off more of the event, but it's still time to run and I'm still going to show you what this particular Smurf does. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you also will forgive me for having to cut the event short. So, we're in the sweet section and I'm running Bean Branch with him. As you can see, Viking Stomp has two hearts and he can, uh, yes, he stomps and he has two hearts. But in addition to this, he has Potion Precedence. And that Potion Precedence comes in when he picks up 200 coins. That was a weird little setup, I won't lie. Almost lost people go doing that. Fine by me. Huh. I've learned from all that time in the tournament using the rainbow effects. Ooh! Are you kidding me? That's some old bull. As you can see, once you get the 200 coins, Viking Smurf gets invincibility. I'm very disappointed at that. The dash zone was too fast for the other guys in the back. Sweet, I still got the 25 piece. That's what I wanted. <sighs> that should not have been my losing the two guys. Extra 10%? Extra 10%? Wait a minute. They didn't mention that with Viking Smurf. An extra 10% of the coins? Only one I know that does that is Farmer Smurf. Viking gives you 10% extra coins? Because I'm using the fire hose and I got Bean Branch. Those don't give me an extra 10%. Ah... All right, fine, I'll take it. Thank you for the extra 10% on the coins. Maybe this is the game's way of forgiving me for not being able to record my trials of the Viking hunt. Either that or it's because this is the, the festive Christmas time part of the map. I'm still mad because the dash zones made me so I so two of the smurfs in the back got got captured, man. I, I'm I'm very disappointed in that. Alright. Cause again, Viking Smurf's ability says stomp, invincibility every 200 coins, and then two hearts. Nothing about 10% extra coins. 
So let's just chalk it up to the area of the map. As I know, Smurfs Epic Plan hasn't posted another update. So, we'll see. I'm kind of digging the whole Feast of this deal, though. Looking like Christmas dinner. Okay. Okay. No complaints there. Yes, please keep up. There we go. That's everybody. Are gonna be fun to use in tour in the tournaments. <laughs> you are gonna be fun to use in the tournaments. Invincibility too. Oh my God! You're gonna be fun to use in the tournaments. You are gonna be some serious. My Viking Smurf is still level 1, you guys, so keep that in mind. I haven't leveled up Viking Smurf yet. Oh, man, you are going to be fun to use come tournament time. I should run you in the tournament just, just to see how you'll do, but I want to level you up a bit first. I know you're going to be pretty interesting come tournament time. Also, the communities was... <laughs> Very kind to know what they've been running in the tournaments, too. One of the people in my Smurfs Epic Run community asked what ev who everybody is using in the tournaments because they want to get a better score. And a good majority of the people have said that they've been using Minor Smurf. Minor Smurf. Grab all this stuff and then we'll get into the next stage, you guys. We'll open the chest after we clear stage 214. Alrighty then. Yeah, I can see you doing some very terribly delicious things in tournaments, Viking Smurf. I can see you doing some terribly delicious things in tournaments. I'm mad at that. Oh, 
Oh, you are going to be a beast in the tournament. You are going to be such a beast in the tournament. You are going to be such a beast in tournament play. Interesting, your invincibility does not activate in the... in that area. I'll take that hit. Yes, you guys go up there. Oh, they did get the red fragment. Awesome. Beautiful. Oh, you're going to be such a beast in the tournaments. You are. Stay up top. Yes. It was only a matter of time before I lost them, man. And it's a tough blow, too. <laughs> that was a tough blow. You're not going to be keeping all of your Smurfs going through that. Unfortunate. Okay, it's this area that's giving me the extra coins. Ah. How it would have been nice to get all five of them hung because I had them until that point in the map. <laughs> I had them until that point of the map. Ah, uh, damn. You know, if I was Fakir Smurf, that part of the map would not have hurt them at all. They would have just run straight through it because Fakir Smurf is immune to spikes. I gotta do that all over again. I'm bringing the mirror next time, though. Cause I actually no. I'm not bringing the mirror the next time I do that. I'm gonna use someone who's immune to spikes. Do I? But that's Fakir Smurf. Do I? Do I want to buy Fakir Smurf or do I want to go through the levels for him? Cause Fakir Smurf appears, I believe, in the Oasis. He's, no, that's Genie Smurf, I think, that appears in the Oasis. It's, it's either Genie or Fakir. One of those two show up then. One in the Oasis, the other in the Love Garden. What's in the chest? Eighty leaves and a hundred coins. Here we go. One more time. Hopefully I can keep everybody this time around. Oh man. I gotta rescue 20 Smurfs. I've only rescued three. Down we go. He fell through the floor. Come on. He fell through the floor. Mm. Smurfs Epic Run Development Team. You guys were supposed to patch that.
He felt I stomped and he went straight to the floor. I don't even want to ask how they fell through the floor right there. They should not have even fallen through the floor. I'm going to have to review a lot of this tape to see what the hell's going on because you should not have even fallen through that. You should have caught on to the little grates at the bottom, not falling straight through the grates. That's some old BS. I'm getting no smurfs, and this is irritating the living hell out of me. And I couldn't even jump out of that part either, which... Mm. I'm going to be sure to tag Smurfs Epic Run when I post this to my, twi on my announcement to Twitter. Because they need to watch this episode. Simply because of the fall throughs like that. That is like super glitchy. Falling through floors though, that's not acceptable. It, it isn't. It's not acceptable. Hopefully I can save everybody in stage 216. And not go through too much hell. Okay. By the way, I hope you guys found the little uh, tip vid on getting more keys useful. And if you missed it, just backtrack. I believe it's the previous little uh, video before this one. Again, I did that as a helpful way to peep so other players can get some more keys. There will be one later when it comes to getting more gems. So be on the lookout for that. Boom, very nice. One's gonna be up in that in that top right there. Okay. Well, I must say, that was some rather trick flying you had to go through on that one, but at least I saved everybody. Didn't get all the coins, unfortunately, but that's okay. I got all four of the Smurfs this time, which, that's 20% of the 20 needed. So where is that, seven now? We got seven Smurfs out of 20. Should have had Nine. Should have had 15 out of 20 Smurfs by now, which. Ah, dead bull. But we'll keep on soldiering on. We got Viking Smurf. Thank you, Flying Smurf, for this stage. All right. Keep on moving. Because now I get to show off a little bit more Viking Smurf.
Switch up. There we go. Okay, stage 217. Back to the Viking, back to the runs. I wonder what everybody else thinks of Viking Smurf. Let me know in the comment section below. Thought I actually missed that coin. Oh good, pre-invincibility. And more invincibility. You know what, I think Bean Branch... Thank you for getting him, I appreciate that. I think Bean Branch accompanies Viking Smurf very well. That's a quite the quite the nicely set up compliment. Would have been nice to get that magnet though. And when you have invincibility, you don't have to worry about spikes. Well timed rainbow potion by Bean Branch. And just bulldoze on through. Beautiful. This was a good stage. B. Gargamel by 63 points. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Very happy with that. Mm-hmm. When a stage goes right, it's a beautiful thing. When the clockwork works, it claps together like butt cheeks, apparently. At least that's what these young kids say. These these young teenagers. My teenage years are long. Well, my teenage years are past me. I'm not a hipster, but at least I can still keep up with my teenage nephew I actually let him play my Kirby Star Ally so he beat it last night so he is completely through the Kirby Star Allies game I am not. In fact, I started my Kirby Star Allies playthrough officially with the very first episode. Not the demos, because I did the demos first. But my official beginning of the playthrough happened earlier this week, I believe, on Wednesday. So, be sure to check it out. Mm, come on now, don't do that. Be sure to check out that wonderful uh, Kirby Star Allies playthrough. Excuse me, I've got to blow my nose here. <coughs> Again, check the playlist section for Kirby Star Allies. Let's not do that. 
Okay, I can go down here. Almost time for invincibility. There we go, much better. Sometimes the rainbow or immortality effects actually hinder you when you go through that particular build. Okay, take that hit. Got the red fragment. Ah, that's some old cake. Blah. Glad I have invincibility for this part. Viking Smurf, you have done me quite a service this episode. Sucks that the sta that uh, stage airs have kind of given you no justice, but you have done me quite a service. This victory lap was very, very fun. So for that, I'm going to level you up. And I know you're going to be quite the interesting Smurf to use in the tournaments. I can, I can see that now. You are going to be quite the interesting Smurf to use in the tournaments. There really hasn't been too many areas that I needed to stomp. So, didn't get to showcase your, your stomping prowess. But then again, you're like a, you're like a high rent handy Smurf. See? Level 1. Still. See? Stomp. Invincibility every 200 coins gathered in two hearts. Nothing about extra coins. Matter of fact, let's give you three levels. There we go. Three levels for the Viking Smurf. If you guys have enjoyed yourselves, remember to show your love, hit the like button. And as always, thank you for every like and favorite, comment and share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want to see more of the Smurf Epic Run goodness, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on those mobile notes. So when it's time to run, you'll be ready to go alongside the Blue Buddies and Blue Babes. And I appreciate you guys coming out to run with me every step of the way. Raise your thumbs if you enjoyed this one. Now let me take that pie from the oven because I'm done. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.